Hello. Bond yields dipped slightly today after the week's surge that weighed on the main Wall Street indices. The 10-year Treasury yield surged to 4.28% yesterday, marking the highest close since 2007. The bonds are pulling back today, but unless the 10-year yield falls below the 4% level, they will most likely continue to intimidate investors and put pressure on the main indices. China Evergrande Group has filed for bankruptcy protection in a U.S. court as the world's most indebted developer works on a prolonged restructuring deal with its creditors. The company is seeking protection under Chapter 15 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code, which could act as a shield for its U.S. assets as it hashes out the restructuring of its more than $19 billion in offshore debts. This news adds to the concerns regarding the faltering property sector in China following the news of Country Garden's possible default. Applied Materials yesterday reported fiscal third quarter EPS of $1.9, coming in above the forecast of $1.69, and revenue of $6.43 billion, also exceeding expectations of $6.15 billion. The semiconductor equipment maker also forecast its profit for the current quarter to be substantially higher than analyst estimates, as chip demand increases and governments spend billions on subsidies. Deere & Co. today reported upbeat financials with $10.2 EPS on $15.8 billion revenue versus the consensus estimate of $8.2 and $14.12 billion respectively. The company also raised its annual profit forecast as demand for large farm tractors remained robust, owing to the Biden administration's $1 trillion package focused on various transportation infrastructure upgrades. Lower manufacturing costs due to easing supply chain bottlenecks also boosted the company's financials. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you a happy weekend.